welcome to the fourth of the pod vids looking at the rules of heroes all and today we're going to get down with some dice and some soldiers and look at the command and control for the two-player game bear in mind that heroes all is a two-player game it morphs into a solo game with fight your own battles and eventually fight your own wars but we're talking solo games for the minute so um heroes all is put together uh, with a number of mechanisms that are familiar to us all there's no point reinventing the wheel so the idea of having some kind of drawn chit or a thrown dice or something to activate an element is nothing new and that's how heroes all works so essentially you start with an element and an element on the table is as uh, we talked in an earlier pod vid perhaps uh, this platoon of infantry and for each element that I've got on the table, I'm going to need to throw one D6 every bound. So I need a whole pile of D6s. Uh, it makes sense for you to use white ones and your opponent coloured ones or however you want to play that. But just make sure you know which D6 are yours. Now on page 8 of the rules, you'll see how you work out uh, what an element actually means. So it mentions things like artillery with an observation officer you only get one command dice not two because it's only one element and so on and so forth now for every three dice that you end up with representing your elements you get one extra one so if i've got six elements on the table i get six dice and for each group of three i get an extra one so i end up with a total of eight dice now when it's my turn on each bound i'm going to throw my eight dice and I'm going to sort them out into the scores I get. So ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. And as you're probably already with me, each of those numbers gives me the ability to carry out a particular action. Now with a throw of one, I get to fire. With a two, I can move. With a three, I observe. With a four, I can carry out an act, like I can become concealed, get out of a vehicle, go into a building, etc, etc. On a five, I communicate with other elements on the table. And with a six, I can do what I like. Now there's a fair bit of flexibility over what I can do. I can give a dice to an element to shoot, for argument's sake, and if it's successful, I can give it another dice to shoot. I can give each element up to three dice in each bound. I don't have to allocate all of the firing dice, the ones, to the element in order to give it three shots. I can give it one shot. If it hits, I can give it another one and then a third one. And at the end of the bound, if I've got, if I run out of elements or there's nothing else I want to do, I simply discard the dice I don't want. And it really is as simple as that. We start the bound by throwing a d6 each. Highest goes first, so I carry out all of my actions with all of my dice and my elements and then my opponent goes, and so on and so forth. So it's an I go, you go. So it's all quite simple. So what happens then if I give my element a dice, let's say I give it a two, and I say to it, right, I want you to move, and I'm gonna try and move forward from where I am now up to a building. Well, if that's the first dice that I've given the uh, element on this bound, my little NCO, my junior officer, if you remember him, um, he has to take a D10 throw to see if he's actually going to move. Now, I've asked him to move, I've ordered him to move, if you like, but he's going to make his local decision based on what he can see and his own initiative to decide whether it's safe to carry out the move that I want him to make right now. It doesn't mean he's going to disobey an order, it's whether he's going to do it right now. So he throws a D10 and he has got to pass an officer reaction test it's called and depending on the sort of rating he's got he will make the decision as to whether he's going to go now or not so you can see with the heroes all mechanism that it's not simply a case of saying right i'm going to move some men from a to b and then shoot at your tank there's a whole lot of what we call disruptors going on that interfere with what you want to do and they all see that same trend appearing all the way through fight your own battles and fight your own wars well that's this pod vid done um, thanks for staying tuned stay safe and i'll see you soon look you know how this works give us a like give us a subscribe hit the notifications bell and when more stuff arrives you'll be the first to know